Good evening, viewers, and welcome to this edition of NTV Sports Page. It's Thursday, the 22nd of October, and I'm Curtis Morton. In our headlines, Nevis over 35s are set to retain trophy. And in our feature for this evening, netball is back on Nevis. We'll take this break and I'll be right back. Well, I'm back, and we start with cricket. Captain of the Nevis Over 35 cricket team, which is preparing to defend its trophy in the upcoming annual Luther Kelly Over 35s tournament, Merlin Leibert, is indicating that his team is ready to defend the trophy they won last year. Leibert faced the press on Wednesday after the team's final practice session at the E. Willett Park. Merlin, in terms of preparations, um, how ready is your team? Well, the team is ready not fully ready but we're ready for the tournament mindset and also we've been doing some practice games which we did well in the games we won the two games that we played so i feel like we're in good enough match readiness what about fitness issues any fitness issues with the players well fitness normally normally play a part which in we does not have enough time and also the the factor that we had some rain which hampers from getting practice and other things what we would like to do in terms of the opposition, I understand that one of the St. Kitts teams probably has a lot of younger players who probably would have represented St. Kitts. Is that a fair factor for your team? Well, it yeah, all by long to the same thing, cricket. We're going to play a game of cricket and that's what we're going to play. We're not going to look at players and say, well, oh, they're younger than us, they're better than us. The better team that plays on the day normally wins a game. So in one sentence, Merlin, we expect to bring the trophy back to Nevis? Yes, we do expect to bring the trophy back on Sunday evening when we are coming back. Thanks a lot. All the best. By the way, the tournament will be played at the Connery Grounds in St. Kitts this coming Saturday and Sunday starting at 9.30 a.m. on both days. Now to the international scene. West Indies all-rounder Dwayne Bravo has been ruled out of the upcoming tour of New Zealand due to a groin injury. The experienced 37-year-old sustained the injury on Saturday while playing for the Chennai Super Kings in the Indian Premier League. 
Bravo, the two-time T20 World Cup winner, will now return to Trinidad to continue his rehabilitation. He will be replaced by Romario Shepard, the 25-year-old all-rounder who made his international debut last year against Afghanistan. He has so far played five one-day internationals and two T20 internationals. The defending ICC T20 World Cup champions will visit New Zealand from 27th of November to December 15th. They will start the tour with three T20s, followed by two test matches as part of the ICC World Test Championship. The full squads read for the T20 squad, Kyron Pollard, Captain Fabian Allen, Sheldon Cottrell, Andre Fletcher, Shimron Hetmeyer, Brandon King, Kyle Mayers, Rubman Powell, Kimo Paul, Nicholas Puran, Romario Shepard, O'Shane Thomas, Hayden Walsh Jr. and Keswick Williams. The test squad, Jason, Jason Holder, Captain, Jermaine Blackwood, Craig Bratwit, Darren Bravo, Sharma Brooks, John Campbell, Ruston Chase, Raheem Cornwall, Shane Dowrich, Shannon Gabriel, Shimron Hetmeyer, Chema Holder, Alzari Joseph, Kimo Paul, and Kima Roach. The test reserves, Nkuma Bonner, Joshua De Silva, Preston McSween, Shane Mosley, Raymond Reefer, and Jaden Seals. The match schedules, for those of you interested in following these matches on TV, November 27th, 1st T20, November 29th, 2nd T20, November 30th, 3rd T20, December the 3rd to the 7th, the first test match, and Dece December the 11th to the 15th, the second test match. We'll take this break and I'll be back with our feature for this evening. Somos las raíces que no traen. 每一位良师英雄都发挥着重要作用。Nous devons nourrir le monde. È giunto il momento di risollevarsi. Together, we can make a difference. To lives and communities everywhere. Нам нужна устойчивая предоставленная система. لأن مصيرنا واحد. Well, I'm back, and tonight Netball is in the spotlight. The big news is that Netball is back on Nevis. The Youth and Sports Department held a press conference in collaboration with the Nevis Netball Association on Wednesday, 21st October. Let's take in this. We are here today to uh, share with the media an upcoming event that we are having. It is a collaboration between the Nevis Netball Association and the Department of Sports and it is called Netball is Back. Um, through this collaboration, we are going to be putting on a tournament 
for over seven weeks, which will feature five teams from across the Indies. Today with us, we have representatives from four of the five teams. We also have Mr. Alistair Thompson representing the Nevis Netball Association, and Mr. Javan Richards, who is doing the marketing for the tournament from the Department of Sports. This initiative is aimed at reviving netball here on Nevis. There has been a lull as it relates to netball being played competitively, and so we decided to come together, the Netball Association, the Department of Sports, and several individuals who have a keen interest in the development of netball to put on this tournament. It is hoped that at the end of this tournament, that we'll go into official competitions hosted by the Navy's Netball Association. At this point in time, I will ask Mr. Alistair Thompson, representative of the Navy's Netball Association, to give brief remarks. Well, good morning to everyone. As representative of the Navy's Netball Association, we are proud to partner with the Ministry of Youth and Sports in this endeavor. In 2019, an interim committee was put in place to revive netball. And so we have been trying ever since to have a tournament and we are happy that at this point that the youth, Ministry of Youth and the Department of Youth and Sports and the Nevis Netball Association is in a good position now to have this tournament. And so hopefully over the next seven weeks, um, we'll be endeavoring to make sure you have some keen competition through the sports of netball. And so again, we are happy for this this effort to make sure that netball is once again on the roster of sports in Nevis. Okay, thank you Mr. Thompson. And just for the general public, some general information. The tournament commences on November 7th, starting at 6 p.m. at the Brownhill Hard Court. On that day, we'll have a double header. We'll have um, two games between four of the teams that are participating in the tournament. And speaking of the teams, we have representatives from four of the five teams here, and I'm just going to officially ask them to introduce the name of the teams and say something on behalf of their team and also encourage the general public to come out and support. So we're going to start at my, uh, my far left, Ms. Governor Manners Hendrickson. So we will introduce the name of the teams. And Good day, um, I'm representing the DC Uprising Stars and DC Elite Ballers. Um, our team is based out of Gingerland and we're hoping to help revive netball in Nevis. Okay, to my far right, I have Ms. Joel Thompson. Could you please introduce the team? My name is Joel Thompson. I'm here to represent my team, whose name is The Hurricanes. Um, we just want to we're just happy for the opportunity for netball to start up again and it's comprised of different age of girls, etc. who love this sport and also want this sport to come back. So we just waiting for the tournament so we can have a fun and competitive tournament. Okay, and next to Joel we have Ms. Charlie Martin. Could you please introduce your team? Good, mo good morning, my team is Venomous Vixens. And we have a mixture of past players like Lydia Thompson, Chantel Isles, Jasmine Charles. We also have some foreigners. You know, we have a lot of Dominicans, Jamaicans. Where we, so we decided to mix it up to, so, to show you different Caribbean ballers. Okay, thank you, Ms. Martin. I wish to at this point apologize for the representative from Blue Tide. Due to work commitment, they won't be able to be here this morning. So, just to um, highlight the names of the teams, we have the DSC Elite Ballers, DSC Uprising Stars, the Hurricanes, Venomous Vixens, and Blue Tides. And those are the five teams that will be competing for this championship. Uh, I would like to take this opportunity to encourage the general public to come out and support the event. Netball, we need the public to come and support because they are very instrumental to the revival of netball here in Nevis. At this point in time, I will ask the marketing officer from the Department of Sports, Mr. Javan Richards, to just give some information on 
what we are doing marketing wise to promote the tournament. Okay, well, in a nutshell, um, we have created posters, uh, a radio ad, and um, we're going to, in a nutshell, try to push everything on social media so that the general public know what's going on. You know, that way we should be able to, you know, gather a big crowd and get the visions interested in Nepal once again. Thank you. Yeah, and I also take this opportunity to use the media to uh, encourage potential sponsors to come on board and support this endeavor. Uh, you can reach out to Major McLaxon at the Department of Sport, 469-5521-6710. We graciously, graciously accept any donation that you may have. We will go to the development of netball here in Nevis. So, once again, I'm encouraging the general public to come out and support this event. We commence on November 7th, 6 p.m. at the Bone Hill Network Complex. The first game is going to be this DSC Uprising Stars versus DSC Ballers, Elite Ballers. And the second game is going to be the Hurricanes versus Blue Tides. So we have a clash of the natural elements and a clash of the Gingerland team. So once again, I'm encouraging you to come on out and support Netball is back here in Davis. Thank you. First question, the Vixens, based on what Miss Martin just said, seems to be having a very experienced team. How would the organizers ensure that there's a competition? How, how competitive would the other teams be? Okay. Well, from the onset in the construction of the teams, there, there was a criteria established where teams were allowed to have a certain number of former national players as well as U23 players and then the Philly roster after that. So as much as possible, we try to make the rosters as balanced as possible in terms of experience and netball ability. And you gave a short list in terms of um, schedule. Do you have a full schedule listing for the seven weeks? Yes, we have a full schedule listing which will be circulated to our media houses. Well, we certainly wish them well. That's all package for this evening. I am Curtis Morton reminding you that you can watch sports if you're not fit. But to play sports requires fitness, diligence, and sacrifice. Have a good night.